I am the project coordinator for the Drain the Pain project, which has been running for over three years now. And during that time, we've been able to streamline the patient admission and discharge process for patients with end-stage liver disease. I'm a gastroenterologist whose patients have vastly benefited from this model of care. Uh, they have received a streamlined access to appropriate medical care uh, with faster turnaround times. I'm a nurse who cares for end-stage liver disease patients. Many of these patients previously experienced avoidable delays with their admission as well as lengthy hospital stays. With this model of care, the patient, carer and I are able to develop a plan of care that meets all of their needs, especially their end of life management. I just wanted to talk a bit about the hospital and the program they have in place to allow my father to have the whole say in his treatment and his journey. I know that when he had the power to do that, it made his journey a bit more positive and he felt a bit more able to be able to take care of things. When he didn't, the hospital was great at re-giving him that power and ensuring him that it was his journey and it would go the way he wanted to. This project has resulted in a patient-initiated admission process which allows patients and carers to plan their hospital stay around their needs, giving them better control over their symptom management. It facilitates end-of-life planning and has resulted in a decreased length of stay from 4.5 days down to 1.5 days, an estimated cost saving of $210,000 per year.